something different. Yo, what's going on, good people? It's your boy Jay Hill. I been telling you know all the people who know me I'm finna do this and and so here I am um, welcome to uh, my first video of this channel uh, moving forward um, here at, at this channel uh, I, I plan on doing uh, a lot of videos that would uh, benefit us I, you can follow along my journey as as I try to build and, and, and grow into the stock market you know, maybe you can grow with me in, in, in the stock market and, and, and be uh, a player in this game because uh, we've been shut out for far too long and it's time for us to get a piece of the pie. And it's ironic I'm doing this video today. Uh, today is Friday, January 29th. And uh, it's, if you've been following the news, uh, it's been a very crazy uh, week in the stock market. GameStop and AMC and... Um, actually, I got to play in AMC, but <laughs> hey, shout out to the Wall Street Bets um, for putting us up on these plays. Uh, it's good to, to see the, the little man come out on this side of things. And I know a lot of y'all might not understand what's going on and jumping into this rat race. Um, I want you to be cautious about doing that. Talk to somebody who does know what they're doing before you jump into this race because um, you don't want to be caught out there like that. With that being said, uh, I do want to kind of explain what was going on and maybe you can get an understanding of how this could be possible. So what's happened with GameStop is what they call a, a short sale. But, well, it's a short squeeze, I should say. It's a short squeeze. And what a short squeeze is that you are basically shaking down people who are already going to lose um, money based on their position in the stock. They're banking, they're banking on the stock is going to fall. So these big hedge funds had a bunch of bets on GameStop folding. And they were going to make money along the way, forcing GameStop to liquidate the assets, competing that, that cycle of endless loop of debt that GameStop would endure until they fold and these hedge funds make out along the way. So the great equalizer is the internet. Again, the internet is undefeated. With everybody jumping on the stock and buying up all the shares, it was no shares left for them to cover all all of the, the, the hedges that they had out there. With everybody grabbing and holding, and you hold, there's nothing out there driving the price up because now they have to continuously buy as well because they have to cover all of these, these contracts. And every contract, one contract is for 100 shares. It's people tripling and quadrupling and having 10 or 12 contracts okay and oh my god they are about to get bled when it's all said and done same thing has happened to amc i got a horse in the race uh i am not your financial advice i'm not telling you to get into it but time is right out anyway with all that being said um it, it's interesting to see what um robin hood makes out of this because I am personally getting rid of Robin Hood. I am done with them. I'm only, I gotta close out some positions to get into some plays. I'm about to make all that profit back and I'm out. I'm out. So, I'm out. Um, I'm, I'm gonna move some to Weevil. Um, I do have a Fidelity, I do have a Weevil. Uh, anybody who has, who's banked with Chase, you can trade through Chase. You can trade through Chase. Uh, and right in the Chase app, you just open up a brokerage account with Chase right through the app. And you, you can you can trade right there. So you don't have to pay any trading fees as long as you bank with Chase. You don't have to pay any trading fees. Just letting you know. Uh, and it's good. I actually, because of what happened, it's good that you have uh, multiple accounts, as you can see. Because if a broker is going to shut us out when we went in, you know, we, you got to be able to go somewhere else. Cash App also trades stocks. So, um, hey, hey, look, if I'm not knocking your hustle, if you a dancer, if you a dancer, you dance in the clubs, whatever, when, when the world open back up and people come back to clubs, spend money, and you're taking that Cash App money, take that Cash App money and put it in some stocks and let your money work for you. Just saying, I'll tell you what to do. I'm not your financial advisor, just a guy on YouTube trying to tell you what I would do. So Robin Hood, I don't know if it was possible for you to shoot yourself in the foot and hang yourself at the same time, but I think they managed to do that. Like, 
they they're done. They're done. And this system has been exposed. I know I signed the you know the petition and everything, but I lost money. I lost the potential of money on other plays too because they shut down trading. You're not supposed to do that. You can't manipulate the market like that. And we got the data to prove it. So uh, anybody that was in on those plays, hey, if, if you can document everything, I think at some point we're going to need it. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, I'm going to keep this video short. This is the first one. Uh, just want to kind of talk about things. Um, as I learn things, I want to share with you. Um, and we're going to grow together. Um, and... and, and Please, you know, we, I want to make an army. So shout out to everybody else on YouTube who's doing the same thing. Uh, I'm hopping in this rat race too. My name is Jay Hill. I'll see you on the other side.